this is a real turning point. This is that panic moment that I talked about where you go, I don't want to do this. I'll have to memorize things. You will not. You're going to have to kind of memorize one little key phrase and then everything else will be very common sense like. Trust me on this. This is the ANSI version of the C sum that we just did. Very similar. We're going to select the product ID, the sale date, daily sales, and then we're going to do a C sum. But instead of saying C sum, it says sum daily sales over order by sale date rows unbounded preceding. This is exactly what we saw in our very first C sum OLAP. First, it's going to sort the data by sale date. Then it's going to do a sum of daily sales not an aggregate because it sees the word over it goes this is an ordered analytic and when it sees rows unbounded proceeding it says I'm gonna start with the first row and go to the end and this is an ANSI C sum you've just seen this query but I've highlighted rows unbounded proceeding that means start in the beginning and go to the end and you'll see that quite often in these ANSI ordered analytics. So this is where the fear comes in because you go, I'm not quite sure what that means and I'll have to memorize 20 things. No, you will not. That's the only thing I want you to memorize is rows unbounded proceeding. Otherwise, you'll usually see a number like rows one proceeding, rows two proceeding. It's going to make perfect sense as we move forward. But understand that rows unbounded proceeding is going to get you a C sum when you do a sum of daily sales over take a look at the red and the blue that I've got highlighted here for you in the answer set. You see, we're going to first sort by sale date and then once that happens, we're going to then do our sum over of daily sales and say, hey, we made 41,888. That's what the first row is going to be in the cumulative sum. Then we made 48,000, a little bit more, and then it's going to be 90,000 as a cumulative sum. It will continue to add the previous row up until it gets to the end. That's what a cumulative sum is. Check out the blue in the answer set, 138,739. Yeah, we're making some money now. How was it calculated? Well, after the sort by sale date, the rows were calculated as 41,888, 48,850, and $48,000, and that totals $138,739.28. It continues to add row by row, but once again, remember, only after it's been sorted. You're stepping it up with me right now because we got a multi-column sort key. Sure, we're summing daily sales over. Order by product ID first. All the 1,000s come in, then the 2,000. And then the minor sort is sale date. So all ties within 1,000, you can see here, we then sort by the sale date within product ID 1,000. Once the sort is done, it's going to do the cumulative sum based on how those rows were sorted. This lesson brought to you by Coughing Data Warehousing. Need to learn SQL for Natiza Teradata or Aster? Visit coughingdw.com for our helpful training guides with Teratom SQL stands for So Quickly Learned. Hi, this is Tom Coffing. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please hit subscribe to make sure you are kept up to date on all our videos.